Hello and welcome to Midweek. I'm Brian Span. On this edition, the summer season is upon us. We'll check in with MWR. May is also Asian Pacific Heritage Month. And with PCS season here, we'll check in with legal claims. But first, Fort Meade's MWR website, www.ftbeatmwr.com, has been inaccessible for close to a week. While the issue is being resolved, MWR officials encourage you to go to their Facebook page at facebook.com slash ftmeadmwr. In the meantime, we'll take a quick look at what's coming up. There's a military spouse job fair on Wednesday, May 8th from 10 to 2 at the McGill Training Center. It's open to all military spouses, DOD ID card holders, and federal ID card holders seeking employment. Mother's Day brunch sells out quickly, so make your reservations today. Call 301-677-4333. MWR is also announcing the 2013 Army Arts and Crafts Contest. It runs through June 30th and is open to artists of all ages. Once again, for more information, go to the Fort Meade MWR Facebook page at facebook.com slash ftmeadmwr. May is Asian Pacific Heritage Month and Fort Meade's observance is coming up Thursday, May 9th at the McGill Training Center. This year's event, hosted by the 902nd Military Intelligence Brigade, welcomes guest speaker Ken Numatololo, head football coach at the U.S. Naval Academy. The entire community is invited to attend. For more information about this year's observance, contact the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Office at 301-677-6687. Once again, the Asian Pacific Heritage Month observance is coming up Thursday, May 9th from 11 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. Meanwhile, PCS season is upon us, and for many military members, the process of making a claim for damaged or missing items during a move can be a confusing process. Recently, the local staff Judge Afghan office and Me TV teamed up to offer a brief primer on the claims process. Here's a portion of the video. In order to help soldiers and other eligible claimants understand the claims process, the Fort Meade Claims Division has created a flowchart that breaks down exactly how to file a claim for damaged household goods. Most importantly, this flowchart details the specific steps and deadlines associated with filing such a claim. In fact, by simply following the steps outlined within this flowchart, Claimants should be able to both timely and properly file a claim for their damaged items. Let's take a closer look at this flowchart. The flowchart begins with the claimant noticing that some of their household goods were damaged pursuant to a PCS move. From there, the first step in the claims process is filing a timely notice of loss to the carrier within 75 days. This involves notifying the carrier within 75 days that certain items were damaged during the move. The importance of hitting this deadline cannot be emphasized enough as claimants who miss this deadline will likely have their entire claim denied. In fact, if you remember anything from this video, please remember that you must file a proper notice of loss to the carrier within 75 days. The complete video is available on the Fort Meade homepage under links for the Staff Judge Advocate. And finally this week, another reminder, the Fort Meade's annual Memorial Day Remembrance Ceremony is scheduled for Sunday, May 19th. The 27th annual Massing of the Colors brings together color guards and flag details from military, law enforcement, and scouting units from across the state. Our country is only as strong as the men and women who are willing to step up in the present to defend her future and, when necessary, to fight for her future. We are proud of your commitment. We are proud of your courage and your willingness to serve your country in time of need. Also. I want to salute the families who are here today, families of our veterans, families of our active service members, with, who I know give up a tremendous amount and sacrifice greatly. Your love, your support, and your understanding allows our men and women in uniform to answer the call to serve, and in a very real way, your sacrifice also defends our country's greatness. We also pay respect to those men and women in uniform who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Their courage and their service can never ever be repaid, but we should and must pause from time to time to say thank you publicly and thank you in our hearts for what they have done for all of us. The Massing of the Colors is sponsored by the Military Order of the World Wars. This year's event welcomes guest speaker Major General Michael Lennington, Commander, Joint Force Headquarters in National Capital Region, and commander of the U.S. Army Military District of Washington. Massing of the Colors is free of charge and open to the public. Once again, it's scheduled for Sunday, May 19th at 2.30 in the Fort Meade Pavilion. That's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week.